It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, we were drinking North Carolina wine on Christmas Eve. Welcome to North Carolina Wine TV. I'm your co-host, Kit Bodner. I was waiting for a rhyme. I was seeing how you were No, that's all, I, that's all I was <laughs> doing. That's, that's, that's all, all I was doing. taking it. And I'm your other co-host, Jeff Cohen. Merry and Christmas Eve. That's right. And apparently, not a creature stirring but us drinking North Carolina wine. Yeah. You know the kids are asleep? You don't the have presents kids. are out. <laughs> no, I'm talking for them. Oh, kids are okay. asleep. Yeah. Presents are out. You know there's no hope in going to bed because you got to get up in a couple hours. So you're watching a little North Carolina wine TV. That's right, and you're still Maybe putting drinking that drinking a little wine. You know, capping off what was probably a hectic Christmas Eve. That's right. You're you're probably still putting that bike together. The wine might help. It's true. <laughs> the the bike, the toys, yeah, the, whatever it is. And we're back, Christmas Wine Week. Yeah. And we're trying a Christmas wine from Duplin Winery. Mm-hmm. So funny story about this wine. <laughs> Is the Duplin, Duplin actually makes three different Christmas wines. And we have a rule, we only do one wine per show. Right. So what does that mean, Jeff? We're only doing one of their Christmas wines we had to this pick year. One. That's right. Well next year we'll do a different one, but which one are we doing? We are doing it is called North Carolina Red Christmas Wine, and it has a picture of Santa holding a glass of wine, and Mrs. Claus is there in the background. And uh, you bought this wine. I did buy this wine. How much wine? How much was this bottle of wine? Uh, it was about eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yeah. Fair price point there. Yeah. Available at grocery stores. It's available in Target. Everywhere. Everywhere you can imagine. And just to note, in case you don't know, Duplin Winery is North Carolina's biggest winery. Large producer. They distribute all over the East Coast. Yeah. Big producer of wines. That helps their wines come in at a much lower price point than a That's lot right. of other wines. Most, a lot of their wines are between seven and ten dollars. Yeah. This is eight dollars, as you yeah. said. Eleven and a half percent alcohol. They are, they produce muscadine wine. Yes. That's what they produce. So this is a red. Christmas Muscadine blend, and that's all we know about it. Yep. This doesn't give us a whole lot of information about what what this bad boy is, but but if Santa drinks it, it's got to be a good wine for tonight. Dude, I'm all over Santa. Sound of man. I'm leaving that one. Keep he's, going. He's leaving that one. <laughs> um, I'm all over the Santa wine. We're yep. gonna give this a try. Then we're gonna have a fun fun with it on Food Friday tomorrow. Yeah. We're, we're really gonna have fun. So so make sure on Christmas Day we're yeah. gonna rock it out with. A, Food Friday, Christmas Day episode. Come back and check that out because it, it'll it'll be fun. But uh, because you time try this. you may be on vacation, not us. We are the hardest working North wine Carolina bloggers. Wine bloggers <laughs> That's right. Ever. That's right. We're yes, the only are. ones. So yeah. we can say whatever we want about North Carolina yeah. wine blogging. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's try. It. Let's let's give it a sniff. It smells like muscadine. It smells. <laughs> you get a lot of the earth, the burnt yeah. rubber coming through. Mm-hmm. Not, not over the top. Not crazy sugar. Did you get cork in my wine? Did I? <laughs> I possibly could have. Hmm. Who knows? Looks like possibly some cork in the wine. So frankly, anyway, it's fine. Um, and if you've ever had wine with too much cork in it and you drank it anyway, you could leave us a comment. That's okay. Uh, uh, we'd love to hear. You yeah. know, if you're like me, I'll admit it, I've destroyed some corks <laughs> in my day. Yeah. You have that really pain in the ass cork that just like crumbles because it's old or something, mm-hmm. and it's all in your wine. And you're like trying to strain wine. I I had I had a friend before who had a really bad corkscrew. Mm-hmm. You know, not be able to get it out. So the only way that you <laughs> drink the wine was to push the cork, push in. The cork <laughs> yeah. in and float the cork yep. and and drink and the just wine. Go on. Yep, so. we've we've all done that. Push the cork in and away you go. It's wine. <laughs> it's, it's true. So on the nose here, mm-hmm. what do you get? Pretty much just straight muscadine. Which is, to you, what? It, it's that very, very distinctive sort of earthy smell. Um, I am continuing to come around to your burnt rubber description. It's it's earth, burnt rubber, and uh, I'm going to say this wine has a side of cherry Kool-Aid packet. Okay. You, would you agree or disagree? Well, I'm... I'm having a hard time distinguishing the color from the flavor because it's like... Red, it red, is. red. This is like Christmas <laughs> red, right? Yes, here. yes. But there's kind of a cherry. Is there a bit of a cherry? Like a cherry candy. Okay. Candy kind of scent there. Um, 
Want to give us a try? Yeah. All right. Let's. It's, it's Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Yeah. May as well. Have a drink, people. Yeah. It's interesting because at the very front, it's really sweet, and but then it goes away. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. So it must be true. It must be true. It must be true. But as the finish continues, it's a little bit. I don't. I don't know if that's alcohol or a little bit artificial. Well, artif artificial, but also a little bit, a little bit harsh. Maybe burning a little bit. Little, 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 little bit, yeah, just a, like, a touch. A touch. Not much, but a touch. I mean, this is. This is like I put a packet of cherry fun dip mm -hmm. into some <laughs> muscadine wine, mm -hmm. made a bright red, uh, I drank it, and then. Somehow, some winemaker made some magic and made it not that sweet at the end. Yeah, because it's very sweet in the front of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah, like, very is. viscous, very sweet. And, and as I'm talking, and it's kind of just lingering in my mouth. There is some residual sweetness sitting there, mm -hmm. but it's not not completely crazy, not out of bounds. And it, if we'll get to our rating in a second, but if you're somebody who likes sweet, sweet wine. wine and likes muscadine. You'll like this because th this is different than other Duplin wines. It, yeah. it, it sort of is different, a different experience. different wine making yeah. style behind it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a different type of kind of flow of flavor through the mouth. Mm -hmm. and, a, and a much different finish than yeah. a lot of the other Duplin wines we have. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, again, not going to change your life, but a, right. for $8, mm -hmm. a very good value. If you've got sweet wine drinkers in your family, yeah. they're, they'll probably be all over this. Uh, Definitely like all you're all over Santa. Like I'm all over Santa. <laughs> <laughs> that, Sorry, that is the quote. You brought of the it day. back. You brought it back. That's the quote of the day. <laughs> I can't leave those um, twice. Well, now that we've made fun of me, <laughs> what do you rate this wine? Um, what do I rate this wine? Um, it's a nice earthiness to it too. Yeah, it? I. Uh, it's probably in a probably in a two and a half to three range. Well, it's even right at a three. three. The price point's really fair yeah. on this, I think. Um, yeah, I, better than the built. I mean, if you're looking for like a sweet holiday wine, I'd much rather have a couple bottles of this than a bottle with built more mm -hmm. for about you know not much more money really. Right. This is several dollars cheaper than the built more. Um, it's, it's good value. I yeah. Mean, this is your style of wine. Go for it. Um, is kind of kind of where I put it. So I, I'm yeah, gonna say a three. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you a three. three. Yeah, I'm good with okay. a three. And we're gonna have a fun experiment with this wine. Yeah, we'll we'll be back tomorrow. You gotta go come back day. and check check this out on Christmas Day. We're gonna do something fun with it. Um, we hope you guys have a, a very merry Christmas. Uh, thank you so much for your support of North Carolina Wine TV. Um, if there's anything we can do to help you out, please connect with us over Facebook, Twitter, send us an email at contact at northcarolinawine.tv or. Uh, just uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what's going on. But we really appreciate it. Just have a great holidays with your family. And yep. I think one left, one thing left to do. Here's to the Old North State.